everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer, and you can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com, and there you can see all the classes I have. I have a lot of online classes and some in-person classes and study groups, and anything that you need for private and personal sessions, as well as private mentoring. All right, so one-on-one -on -one classes. So come join my email newsletter as well, and if you're a new subscriber, once a month I pick a person to win a free 20 minute session with me. All right, and if you share this video as well on Facebook, I can see who shares them. And uh, once a week I pick a winner of a 20 minute session for that too. So today I wanna talk about the new moon in the sign of Scorpio. It is on October 30th. It's at 1.38 p.m. Eastern Time Zone, 7 degrees of Scorpio. This is the feeling that's external that we all have to deal with internally, okay? And that's what Scorpio is about. So before I get to the actual new moon, I just want you to remember for the approximately 48 hours before the moon is new, and I just gave you the time, 1.38 p.m., before it is new, the moon is in a balsamic phase. During that balsamic phase, it's important and really pretty imperative, actually, that we spend time on inner reflection. Hard to do in this busy world, I know, but find time for inner reflection, for closure from the previous month, from the last month, and surrender, surrendering into whatever needs to be released and let go of, because that's the dark of the moon. She is her darkest when she's in that phase, all right? So take some time to uh, really uh, step into surrender and not obsess about things. I know it's hard to do when we have this compulsive behavior of what Scorpio is. But how can we use it in a positive way? Because we want to set some goals with it now. Once the moon is new, okay, 1.38 p.m., once the moon is new, we want to set goals for ourselves that really help us to uh, move forward in our lives. And so we plant these seeds, and whatever you end up setting up for goals, make sure you just kind of keep them close to you. So let's focus in with this new moon in Scorpio. What do you want to do with it? It is about setting goals in regards to things that are about self-mastery. So where do you want to feel really in control? Where do you want to feel like you don't need to have these power struggles anymore? Because we want to use the positive, real positive sides of this energy if we're planting goals, right? So um, Scorpio also is in charge of financial institutions and our partner's money and the finances that we're able to use as a couple, you know, so your spouse's income or you know the income or the money that you have from some type of big institution whether it's like a mortgage from the bank so and then there's sexual um connotations to the scorpio so scorpio does rule sex and death and taxes and how we handle all of those things okay seems like quite a list isn't it it is it is even our soulmates can fall into this category people because when we have soulmates we really feel obsessed about them right so take this new moon energy in the sign of Scorpio on October 30th and see how you want to transform something in your life, gain some self-mastery over something. You can pick it. You know your life way better than any of us astrologers out here talking, talking to you. Become a master at what you want and set a goal towards that. You know what that means. You know what it looks like. All right, claim that you're going to exercise so many days a week. You know, just become a master of something in your own life that you know you can control. All right, I'm going to leave you with that because that's a lot of information already. I will write something out and put that on my website as well, nhastrologer.com. Come and see that. The weekly forecast is out from the week of, it's kind of October 22nd to October 29th and then there's this forecast and then I'll have another week after here coming up soon. All right, thank you guys and blessings and namaste.